package in PLSQL. I hope you all understand the concept of procedure and function. This lesson is going to teach you about package. Let's start our discussion with its definition. A package is a collection of procedures, functions, SQL statements, and variables stored in the database. Here we will see its structure. In PLSQL, a package has a specification section and a body section. These two sections are stored separately in the database. Have a look at this picture for clear understanding. I hope this picture gives you some idea about package structure. Here you can see that a package is stored within the database and the package specification section acts like an interface to the external application. In the package specification section we can declare the variables, exceptions, cursors, and sub-programs for that package. Next, the body section of the package implements the specification section. When a procedure or function within the package is referenced, the whole package gets loaded into memory. In the specification section, we can declare the public variables for the package. These variables are visible to all the applications which are referencing this package. We can also declare the local variables in the body section. These variables are visible only to the package. External applications which are referencing this package can't access these local variables. Unlike procedure and function, we can't call packages directly. Packages can't be nested, and packages will not accept any input parameters. Now let's see how to create a package. We must create a package specification part before writing its body. Here is the syntax for package specification section. Here, create package is a key word. Name specifies the name of the package to be created. We can declare the variables and subprograms for that package. End specifies the end of a package specification section. Now we will see the syntax for package body specification. Here, create package body is a key word to specify the creation of a package body. Here we can declare local variables for the package. In the beginning part, we can write the executable statements for the package. And finally, this section ends with the keyword end. From these syntaxes, you can understand the difference between the package specification and the package body. The advantages of using a package are that it allows grouping the related items, types, and subprograms into one PLSQL module. If any procedure is referenced in a package, the entire package is loaded in the memory so that we can access other items in that package easily. This will increase the response speed. Now, let's see the example for bodiless package. Look at this package. Here we have created a package named MyPackage, which is created as a record type. We have created this package with a new data type emp name. This variable will hold the values for first name and last name. Finally, the package is closed with the word end. Now we are going to create a package with body. Before creating a body section of the package, we must create a package specification. Here we are going to create a package specification for the package pack. Have a glance at this statement. We have created a package named pack with a declaration of procedure and a function. Finally, the package is closed. Now we have created the package specification section of the package. Next, we need to create the package body for this package. Look at the package body. Here we have defined the package body by defining the procedure and function inside the package. Here the procedure 
PAC procedure is defined to print the value Hi, I'm procedure when this procedure is called. The function PAC function will return the value Hi, I'm function to the called place. Finally, the package is closed with the keyword end. We have created a package PAC with a procedure and a function. Now we're going to call this package. Before calling out this package, we must set the server output variable to on. Set server output on. Let's see how to execute the package. For this, the command exec is used. Now we are going to execute the procedure pack procedure in that package. For this, we have to write the exec command like this exec pack dot package procedure and press enter. Now the procedure inside the package is executed and displays the message Hi, I'm procedure on the screen. We can also execute the function inside that package with the same manner. For this, the statement should be written like this exec pack dot pack function from dual. Here we have called this function from the table dual because this function returns some value to the caller. As you can see, the output is Hi, I'm function. Like this, we can create a package with different procedures and functions. We can also call packages anywhere in the PLSQL program section. Now let's see how to drop a package stored in the database. A package can be dropped using the drop command. Let's see the syntax for dropping a package. Drop package package name. Here, drop package is a key word to specify that we are going to drop a package. Package name specifies the name of the package to be dropped from the database. Now we are going to discuss how to drop the package pack which was created earlier. Type the statement like this. Drop package pack and press enter. Now the package pack is dropped from the database. In this lesson we have talked about package and the syntaxes for creating a package specification and a package body. We have also seen a sample package and its operation. We can create packages to store procedures and functions. Refer to the procedure and function creation lessons for a better understanding.